The story begins in 1958. Margaret, played by Amy Adams, had just left her husband. As the narrator tells us, all she had were her paintings in the trunk of her car and her daughter in the back seat. Times were different then. Women were not accepted as heads of households and struggled even more than now to make a living. One day, as Margaret unsuccessfully tries to sell her paintings for $2 each, she meets the flamboyant and artsy Walter, a consummate salesman played by Christoph Waltz. He commands $35 for a painting of a Paris street scene. Margaret is charmed and quickly marries him to solve a legal problem, retaining custody of her daughter. This brings us to Big Eyes. The child in those paintings is based on Margaret's daughter, Jane, who has the insight to see what her new daddy really is. Margaret's first wake-up call is when she learns Walter has taken credit for one of her paintings. She warns him to never do that again. But Walter continues the charade at every opportunity. Margaret backs down and repeats his lie to Jane. The guilt gets to be too much. Even though Margaret is not Catholic, she confesses to a priest. You were raised Christian. You know what we are taught. A man is the head of the household. Perhaps you should trust his judgment. His response made me cringe. It's sad that that kind of advice is still common in many religious traditions today. There's another reason why Margaret is being so submissive. Walter threatens to take her out if she tells the truth. Look at the expression on her face. Adams perfectly captures a subjugated wife. But everything changes after Walter tries to carry out his threat. The film ends with one of the most unforgettable courtroom scenes in movie history. Big Eyes had a short run in theaters because of all the hype promoting a competing film of inferior quality that came out around the same time. The good news is we now have a second chance. Big Eyes has just been released on DVD. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. <laughs>